Miller, you guys have been pretty good as a defense and haven't given up a lot of points. You gave, didn't give up a lot on Sunday, right? Could have won that game, give it up 10. Um, but there has been some games where teams score late, you know, give it up. And, and it could be particularly bad. Like, what do you see? I mean, it's usually just a play here, play there, right? They get the reverse or they do, you know, some, something happens. But what have you seen just in general about the end of games, finishing games? Well, you just said it. We want to finish. We want to hold them um, out the end zone. That's our goal. Came up short last week, but we always talk about finishing. Uh, it's always come down to execution, communication. Games are won and lost in this league in the fourth quarter by, you know, missed tackles or uh, missed assignment, you know. So uh, we just stay on them guys, finish, finish the game. And if you're a defensive player, you want that challenge, you want to be on the field, and you want to win the game. It's very evident that this defense has a lot of talent, but why do you think that they've struggled at times with putting together complete games? Well, sometimes it can be uh, 10 guys did it perfect, the other guy didn't. Uh, it can be me uh, miscommunication uh, or simply the, the team out executed us. And, you know, that happens. You talk about the touchdown, the ball was thrown high away from the defender, and they made the play. So we just got to uh, dial in, next play. Larry, you guys talk about next man up, obviously, but like the end of the game Sunday, you guys had McCollum, you had Neal, you had Delaney all on the field. Uh, three guys that probably don't normally play defense. What, what was just the, the chaos of the losses you took at the end of that game? No, I don't call, call it chaos, but uh, the next man up, we coach everybody in our room. It's, you know, if you in there, we expect you to play and know the communication, the calls, make all the checks, and we, if you're on this team, you're in this building, we expect you to uh, perform. So it wasn't no okay, chaos. Everybody knew their assignment. We just came up a little short. You had two guys run into each other. That's a little chaotic. Well, anytime there's a uh, cover one and it's, uh, it's crossers and picks, you know, this league lets some of that stuff go, uh, you know, get away with the offense, get away with some of those things. But, you know, when you're playing uh, cover one and there's crossing routes, there's a potential that we can run into each other. It's been a while since you've seen the Saints. So how different are the, is this team right now from from what it was in week two? Well, they're the same. They give you a lot of personnel. Uh, they're a physical team. We definitely got a different quarterback, uh, a little more season, a little more pocket than uh, Jameis. But they give you a lot of personnel. They give you a lot of stuff to get ready for. And uh, they got talent. And we know the mindset. Anytime we play them guys, we don't care about no records or where we play. We know it's going to be a tough game. And uh, we got to out-execute. Do you prepare for Dalton? I mean, they've got three options that they could go with, but is that who you're feeling is, is going to be going in this game? Uh, right now, I mean, it's still early. We've got an extra day, but we're preparing for Dalton, everybody. Uh, their offense pretty much been the same. They give you a lot. we got to uh, adjust. They can give us something new, a different wrinkle on Sundays, but uh, we got to do our assignments. What do you make of, of the NFC South this year? Like, this is a team right here that was expected to run away with that division, you know, and it, it hasn't been that way. And, you know, this loss this past week kind of opened the door a little bit for that. Now you're, what, at the half game ahead of the Falcons? Uh, that's more fan talk. You know, this league, each year is a different season. Each year, I understand the expectations. Uh, and what we've done in the past, the last couple of years, I know who our quarterback is, but that's more fan talk. Uh, when that season started, it takes uh, a season. You know, every, every season has its own personality. Every ups and downs, ball go this way. So we just – I told my guys, thank God, hey, this is a golden opportunity. You five and six is still first place in your division. That opportunity don't come around. So let's seize it right now. Knowing that the Saints lead the league with 21 – giveaways, do you look at this as an opportunity for your defense to get back in the groove and get several takeaways, just knowing that you can exploit something that's a weakness for them? Well, every week we, you want to take the ball away. Uh, we're really going to concentrate on our uh, technique. And uh, definitely, if you get an opportunity to get the ball, you know, seize the moment. But every week we're going to hammer our assignments and uh, turnovers come, they come. That game of week two was the best you guys have been all year with takeaways, though. Is, right. is there something you can look back on that game and, and turn to to try and re replicate that on, on Monday? Well, you know, they had to throw it late. So you want to get a lead. You want to make them one-dimensional, and you want to execute. You want to catch the ball. But uh, if we just do our assignments, we communicate, we'll be fine. And talking to Devin after the game, um, you know, with that late hit on, on Jacoby Brissett, um, he didn't seem to see a lot wrong with that. He indicated he thought it was kind of a ticky-tack call. Um, 
when you have a young player like that who's a leader on the team, how do you get him to kind of, you know, understand that yes, you got to be aggressive, but you got to be really careful when when it comes to tackling quarterbacks on the sideline. Uh, is he still seeing it that way? Uh, well, he got to first and foremost, he got to know the nature of this game. You know, they gonna protect those quarterbacks, and uh, even in the pocket and definitely on the sideline, you got to be smart. I know he was trying to punch the ball, you know, it wasn't really a violent hit, but you got to know where that sideline is and that quarterback, this league is going to protect them. And uh, he got to be better. He, he got to understand that, got to learn from it. Logan Ryan began his practice window. He's out off IR at least, and he can be activated any time. What, what does a guy like that, what did he give you? He seemed like he had a lot of turnovers, a lot of splash plays when he was playing earlier. Well, he's smart. You know, he's a veteran. Uh, you know, as a, a player, you want guys back there that can communicate, makes everybody's jobs easier. And uh, hopefully he can come back for us and play, but uh, next man up. What did he bring to you guys from a communication standpoint? Because people I've talked to um, indicated he's a very, very good communicator. Just that, communication. And uh, when you communicate, you know, it just breeds confidence. If you know what to do, you can play faster. Uh, it's a term we use, you know, it calms the waters. And uh, you need guys like that. I mean, it's always at times, even if it's veterans, you know, you need, you know, miscommunication or not. But uh, for the most part, we do a good job communicating. You always want more. And uh, after every game, there's times where we could have communicated better. As we head into December now, obviously, this is crunch time. Do you sense from the guys that, that they know they can't afford another game like uh, one in Cleveland? I, would, I mean, you're in that playoff mode. We got to win. But uh, right now, we're just trying to take care of today. And uh, we got a big challenge, and, you know, playoffs in December. You know, we got the Saints coming in, and uh, that, that ups the ante. You had the uh, Michigan hat for the flight up to Ohio. Is it disappointing there aren't more Ohio State guys to give grief? <laughs> <laughs> we, we got one in the building, and uh, he, he's like 20 guys, trust me. All, all, those, all, all those suck guy fans, but. When you guys have such a, a big win like you did in Munich, and then, you know, you can't kind of keep the momentum going. You have the bye week, and then you come out, and you don't meet your own expectations in, in Cleveland. How, how difficult is it to kind of go through that, that swing of emotions? It's tough, but, you know, this is the NFL. It is definitely tough. Uh, it's quiet. You know, the locker room was quiet a little longer than some of the other losses. It's definitely let down, but uh, we moved past that, and we got the Saints coming in Monday night, and uh, guys are geeked up. All right, thank you guys. Thank you.